There are two kinds of uh, fluid force transformers I want to talk about. The first is the hydraulic jack. Here's how it works. Well, it works, I think the biggest principle to remember on the hydraulic jack is that the input pressure and the output pressure are the same. So the forces in the areas change. So let's say I've got this jack, a hydraulic jack. Scissors jack is a, a mechanical transformer, force transformer. So here's my input side, here's my output side. I'm running a piston. There's in, there's out. So I'll push down here with an input force. And usually a hydraulic jack's uh, accompanied by some other uh, simple machines like a, like a lever. But here's my input force. This is my output force. This is my input area. Right, I'm pushing down a smaller piston. Here's my bigger piston I'm pushing out with. And so this is the output area, A out. Now this is filled with a fluid in here. And the thing about a uh, fluid is the pressure is the same in all directions when you've got a fluid. So the input pressure and the output pressure are the same. So let's see if that works. Just by remembering that, we can get a lot done. I'll say PN, input pressure is equal to the output pressure, because that's being felt all the way through here. Now the input pressure, pressure's force per area. That's going to be input force over input area, and that's equal to the output force over the output area. Notice these ratios have to be the same. The input area is small, so the, out, so the input force is small. The output area is huge. That means that the output force is going to be correspondingly large. The bigger the area change, the bigger the force I can raise. Now what's the trade-off? I push in quite a ways on the input force, and I only go up just a little ways on the output force because they're moving equal volumes, because the work done is pressure times volume. So I have to move the same volume, so I'm going to have to push down quite a bit further than this raises, but it's a trade-off between force and distance. That's how hydraulic jacks work, assuming the pressure is constant. Now, a pressure intensifier increases the pressure by maintaining the same force. So let's try that. So what this does is, um, well, let's say uh, something simple. Uh, a lot of spray guns are used in this too, but let's just uh, take the simplest case. I'm going to push down here with a certain force. And it goes all the way through. These are connected. It's a piece of solid. It's just a solid cone. And it's connected. And uh, so the output force is the same as the input force, so just pushing down with it. But the output area and the input area are much different. The input area is much bigger than the output area. So let's see. The input force and the output force are the same. F in equals F out. Now pressure is force per area, so force is pressure times area. That means that pressure in times area in equals pressure out times area out. Now, let's see. If the input area is much bigger than the output, well, let's see. I'll say P out over P in equals A in over A out. My input area is much bigger than my output area. That means my output pressure is going to be much bigger than my input pressure. I push down with a certain amount of pressure. The area decreases. The force stays the same, so the pressure goes up. It's just like stepping on somebody with your heel versus stepping on them with your stiletto heels, which I shouldn't talk about on tape, really. That's all I should probably say about this, other than um, the ideal mechanical advantage in these, in both these cases, for the jack and the intensifier, it's the ratio of the areas. For the jack, the, the actual mechanical advantage is the ratio of the output to the input force, 
And for the pressure intensifier, it's the ratio of the output to the input pressure. Let's talk about electrical transformers.